My body hurts so bad. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, long time no see. Um, today I'm gonna be piercing my helix. I don't know if I'm gonna do a double, a single, a triple. I don't freaking know what I'm gonna do yet. Um, cause frankly, I feel like this year's done. I promised you guys I'd do a piercing video when I got home from Texas. So here we are. <sighs> so a disclaimer before I get started, I. I'm not teaching you guys to do your own piercings. This is no way, shape, or form a tutorial. It is just showing you how I did mine and my experience, um, or how I'm doing mine and my experience. Um, so if you are under the age of 18, you definitely should not do this. Uh, if you're under the age of 18 and you want any kind of piercing, you definitely have to get your parents' consent and you go to a professional. Actually, all ages, you should go to a professional. But if you're under 18, you need your parents' permission before you go to the professional and do not do this at home. I am 20, almost 21, and I've done most of my piercings myself. So that's why I'm doing it in this video as well. Um, but like I said, this is in no way, shape, or form a tutorial. This is just me documenting me doing my own, like, whatever. Um, okay, so first of all, I've been told that in my other piercing videos, I take way too long to get to it. So I'm just going to get right into it and show you guys my setup and what I'm using and all that good stuff. So really quick, I have to clean the area, so I'm just going to use a cotton pad thingy, majiggy, and 91% isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to clean the area. Um, I have a mirror in front of me, so when I'm looking down, I'm looking in the mirror. Oh, by the way, guys, we hit a thousand subscribers last night, and I think that is so cool. Actually, not last night. The night before last night. Um, we hit a thousand subscribers, which is so fun. And I promised you guys on Instagram that once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'd be doing Instagram shoutouts on my channel and, like, in my videos. So, um, I will explain at the end how you can get your Instagram shout out on my YouTube videos. Um, so just watch till the end of the video. And maybe I'll shout you out one day. Um, by the way, my hands are clean. I just washed them. Um, so for this, I have, like I said, my alcohol, cotton pa pads, Vaseline, like, uh, blah, blah, blah petroleum jelly kind of stuff going on here um q-tips and today i'm going to be using a 16 gauge needle to do this really quick it's already in its little safety packaging um i have to take it out of this and i'm going to be putting my q-tip in the vaseline and kind of just going to like lube up the needle so it doesn't hurt as much if that makes sense it's still going to hurt but it's going to go through a lot smoother all right so it's now sitting in the Vaseline for a minute, just for a second. Um, I should be marking it, but I, I still don't know where I want it. Um, oh, and then for jewelry, I have just these tiny little studs that I ordered off Amazon. I don't even know what they are. I'll probably put a screenshot next somewhere on the screen as to what jewelry I purchased. But I'm a little concerned that the bar might be too short. All right. BRB because I think I have a bar that is way too short so I might have to use piercing jewelry that I already have okay so update I'm actually gonna be using this little thingy oh my gosh you really cannot see that but it's longer than the ones that I ordered I didn't realize the ones that I ordered are so small so I'm gonna do something else with those ones so something I saw someone else do when they did their piercing is that they put a little cotton pad behind their ear and I was like, that is genius. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to like put this behind my ear just for safety reasons. So those two are spaced out pretty good. Well, this is going to be a pain in my butt to sleep on this ear. Well, you shouldn't sleep on the ears that you get pierced, but this is going to be a pain in the butt to sleep. Alright, so let me just mark it and I'll show you guys. You guys think that's that little 
<laughs> you can barely see it, that little dot right there. Or should it be closer to the edge of my ear? I think that's good. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna go in for it. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I don't... I haven't really been into doing piercings lately. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Alright, so here's the needle. I'm just gonna do it. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see, but I can also see in the mirror. All right, I think we're good. Oh my gosh, this hurts. The tip of the needle always hurts the most. Like when you first prick your ear, it always hurts the most. All right, it's in and I'm already bleeding. I'm sorry if you don't like blood okay I will say though as far as going through you don't feel it as much when there's petroleum jelly on it just letting you guys know oh my gosh all right maybe if I push it through faster it won't bleed as much All right, it's like through on the other side, but it's bleeding too much to actually do anything. Okay. I literally just pushed so hard and it still didn't go through. What the heck? I hate this. All right. I'm pushing it through and it's not going through anymore so just a quick little like update with you guys um I've been going to the gym and my body's killing me like my legs my stomach the muscles everything's killing me right now so if I keep going oof mm, Mm, it's because my muscles are like so bad so so bad I did my septum I did these two I did my rook I did that and that like why aren't you going through <coughs> excuse me Excuse me. That tastes like beef ravioli. Oh my gosh. Actually, it tastes like beef aroni, not beef ravioli. Eh, they're the same thing. They're both by, made by Chef Boyardee. Got it through. I just have to get an earring in there. Urgh, it hurts. Crap. The jewelry that I have has to go in through the back. Urgh, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to do it like a regular earring and it's gonna hurt like balls. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back and I found a one that goes in through the front, and I did just sanitize it, so no worries, no worries. You just gotta push it through the rest of the way, and then change it out, or put the jewelry in. Oh 
All right, got it in. And this needle is done, so what I'm gonna do is bend it. Okay, I can't bend it because I'm obviously very weak for some reason. Don't know what that reason would be, but you know. She is done, she is pierced, the balls are on. All right. And that is it. If I had more jewelry available right now, I would definitely add a fourth one up there, but I don't. I'm gonna have to get more piercing jewelry. But uh, with that being said, uh, this video is over, I guess. Um, oh, so if you want an Instagram shout out in my next YouTube video, all you have to do is comment down below with your username and let me know that you subscribe to my channel. That's all I have to do. Subscribe to my channel and comment your username down below on this video and I will definitely give you an Instagram shout out in my last, next video. Or actually, that'll give you a chance to have an Instagram shout out in my next video. But today's Instagram shout out goes to Eva underscore Boyd 662. Um, she has been following me for a while now and she is so sweet and so supportive on all of my posts. And I thank you for that, Eva. Um, and with that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope it was a lot shorter than my usual videos, uh, piercing-wise. And thank you. I will see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>